Shalom and welcome to our video for it for Parshas Kisavo. Two declarations, one key difference. At the beginning of the Torah reading, we learn of two statements, two declarations that are offered. The first one is referred to rabbinically as Mikra Bikurim, the recitation over the first fruits. A farmer will take their first fruits, bring them to the base of Mikdash, and in front of everyone make a formal declaration. This declaration, the Gemara says in Masech Sota, must be in Loshana Kodesh in Hebrew, in the Beis HaMikdash, and it must include the Arame Oved Avi passage, that we stay in the Haggadah, recounting all of Jewish history. In contrast, the second declaration, that of Vidoi Maiser, the accounting of one's tithes, the Gemara says that can be said in any language, in the person's own home, and it doesn't require the recitation of Arame Oved Avi, the whole history of the Jewish people. What's the difference? Well, the key difference is gratitude. In the case of Vidui Meiser, the person is recounting all of the things that they did properly with their tithes. Well, that's not a public matter. That's something between that person and the Rabboni Shalom, the master of the universe. And it's good that a person recognize the things that they have done correctly in fulfilling their maestros. But that's a personal matter. In contrast, Mikra Bikurim, it's about gratitude. It's about thanking Hashem. Well, if it's about thanking Hashem, that's something that we can share with our entire community. So for that reason, the Mishnah says in Bikurim, there is a parade. Everyone gets involved. It must be in the base of Mikdash. It must be a formal declaration in Hebrew. And it must carry with it the gratitude on a grand scale. And that would include Arami Dovidovi, which is the history of the Jewish people, literally, on one foot. In, in search of this gratitude, we need to pursue this concept not just as an individual, but also as a collective. And this inspires all of those who participate. For this reason, perhaps, the declaration of Mikra Bikurim becomes something of a public celebration. Shabbat Shalom.